What's going on guys, Killer6 back with another Borderlands 2 Fight for Sanctuary DLC video and today we're taking a look at some of the easter eggs that I found during my early access at Gearbox headquarters. Now before we begin, there's a slight spoiler warning here, if you have not already played this DLC all the way through, including the side missions, then please proceed with caution as there will be spoilers ahead, okay? Alright, we good? Let's get to it. First, in the Doll Abandoned map, just over the ledge where you first meet Talon, is a junky looking area, and at the very back, tucked into a corner, is a grave with a gun and a helmet with a heart on it. This is clearly a reference to one of Gearbox's oldest game series, The Brothers in Arms. I never actually got to play those games, but I know it's based on a true story of the 502nd Infantry Regiment who was dropped behind German lines on D-Day, and those soldiers actually had hearts in their helmets as well. Likewise, Gearbox captured the detail in the Brothers in Arms games, so this is a very cool, very fitting Easter egg. Next up is the Stranger Things Easter egg. In the Mount Scarab research map, when you reach the prison cell area, just walk around to the stairs that lead up to a couple of cells stuck in the right-hand corner of the room. In one of those cells is a box of Torg brand waffles, but on the side of the box it says Property of Eleven. And as you guys know, Eleven is the name of one of the characters from Stranger Things, and she loves Egos. Awesome Easter egg reference to one of my favorite shows. Now, on my first ever trip to Gearbox, back in the day, I got to play a cool little game called We Happy Few, and they've paid an awesome little tribute to that game with a cool Easter egg that you can find up by Vaughn at the back burner. Just click on the joy and watch Vaughn dance. It's a nice little subtle reference to a very cool game. Finally, the last Easter egg that I've found so far is a Game of Thrones reference. In the Burrows map, there is a cave near the beginning, and inside is a sword plunged into the ground. This is a reference to Jon Snow's sword, Longclaw, but if you click on the sword, a white skag named Ghost will appear. This is obviously a reference to Jon Snow's direwolf named Ghost. Sadly, you can't give it the head pats that it deserves, and instead, you have to kill him. That's typical Game of Thrones for you right there. When you do, he drops a relic called Winter is Over, which gives an incendiary damage increase. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look at some of the Easter eggs in the new DLC. It would not surprise me if there are possibly dozens more. So if you've found any of those Easter eggs, please let us know down in the comment section below and I will gladly pin your message. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and tap that bell icon to be notified anytime I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.